what is up Crocs and Clan members, book fans, and others who have some fun in this video. I'm sorry, it's Crocs, and today I'm here to review episode 73 of Pokemon X and Y, the English dub. And uh, I know the review is a little bit later than it used than it used to be, but it was way too early this morning, and I just, I just, I just couldn't get up. It really sucks that I don't have a TV in my room, so um, I wasn't, like, if I had, if I had a TV in my room, I had cable here, um, and I wouldn't have to leave to go to, like, the living room, which is the other place in town, uh, I would have been able to do it just fine, but I don't, so, I just couldn't be bothered, <laughs> I'm sorry, but, um, this is the episode where we're introduced to Shota, or Sawyer, apparently, um, I don't know how I feel about that name, I'm pretty sure it'll grow on me, I mean, I hope it'll grow on me, I mean, it, I wanna, I wanna like this character. I mean, I, I don't think the, I don't think the name's gonna really be a bother. I think it's just, uh, it'll take me a while, to, you know, to call him Sawyer instead of Shota because I've just been calling him Shota for so long. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, so what happens in this episode? Well, we meet Valerie, which I have to say she looks better than I thought she was going to. I actually had a, a little bit of a concern because in the games, Valerie looks so fantasy-like. So I thought like they might be they might mess it up in the anime because I mean if you really look at her she really looks out of this world like I thought first for, when she was first shown like before the the games came out like when we got the art illustrations and stuff like that she looked like an alien to me at least and in the game she still looks very fantasy like big old fairy eyes and so I, I honestly had worries and, and concerns about but she looks nice I have to say I mean she looks really really good uh, so the animators did a really good job with that I, I'm really proud of them she looks great uh, she couldn't have a gym battle because there's gonna be a fashion show in that day I mean Sawyer we get uh, some talks between them and then they decide that you know they're gonna check out the store because since Valerie is a designer, well, she has you know a store for you to see her outfits if you want to buy something stuff like that. Um, now we don't see Valerie till later on in the episode, but um, we we do find out that there's a, a little bit of a trouble um, because these two assistants, which are the ones that are in her gym in the games, like the kimono girl and then the uh, what's the one that's it's. Uh, the the base the the one with the black dress that shows up in the games she's also there she's a very important character I mean like for for Valley like she's a she's like I guess her right hand or whatever um and then we have you know exposition where they're like we gotta get those two uh, talking about Serena and Bonnie and then Ash and Sawyer decide to have a battle now it's gonna it's a double battle we have Alucha and Frogadier versus uh, Trico and Bagon. Now, what I like is the fact that Ash knew both Pokemon. Uh, obviously, the Pokedex was for exposition and tell everybody, "Hey, this is what they are." Even though he's clearly seen them before, he's ha he has a subtitle, so you know, I'm just saying. Um, but uh, I like the fact, and I also dislike the fact that the two Pokemon he used in the battle are the two Pokemon he's using in the gym battle, because Where's the love for Fletchinger? I just think that Fletchinger deserves some love. Wait, is Fletch? Yeah, it is Fletchinger. He's not. Wait, hold on. Maybe I'm wrong. Is Frogadier in the gym battle? Maybe he's not. Huh. I know how Luch is in the gym battle, and I'm actually not looking forward to the next week's episode because I know the bullshit that happens, and I'm really not looking forward to that. But I think I can't remember who the other Pokemon is. I I thought it was Frogadier. Hmm. I'll find out what. So Ash and Sawyer are having their battle. You know, they're, they're, they're Ash is pretty much dominating the whole time. Shota's is a very new trainer. Like he only has one gym battle while Ash has five. Um, well, he's had, and Ash has more experience. So it, 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 you can kind of tell like there was a really big gap between you know level skills or you know characters. Trainer skills, gosh. 
and I like that because that's one of the things that a lot of people disliked about Black and White, and I honestly thought was really stupid in the beginning. The fact that Ash, even though, even though, even though there was the whole incident with Zekrom, and that's why I kind of give it a little, little, little bit of leniency, just a little bit, is the fact that Ash, with his experience, lost to a brand new trainer. It didn't make sense. But in this case, I, even though even though he has slowly gained you know experience throughout Kalos, it wasn't like he didn't have experience from before. And the fact that I don't Fagadir and Halucha were able to work so well together is because of you know the time they've spent together. Whereas Trico and Bagon, it, it felt like they were you know one was doing something and the other one did something else. You know? So it, you can tell that the, there was a gap. And I really like that because it, it, it helps show off Ash and how he's progressed. And it also gives uh, Sawyer something to strive to. Right? He has now a goal. Like, I have to get better so I can catch up to Ash. Which is awesome because then now we have, uh, as somebody, you know, sp specifically say, this is my goal. I want to be like Ash. Which I don't think we've ever seen before. We've had rivals, but not one that's actually striving for Ashes, like like who Ash is, which is always nice because then people can shut up and say that Ash is useless. No, he's not because now he's somebody's goal. And while some of you might not like how Ash is, the fact that they actually have a character that's striving to be him is always fun. Uh, and I really hope that in the league that their battle is the best ever, like shows off how much Sawyer has improved. I I really hope they, they battle again. I know that they're having they're having a battle in like uh not next week's episode because that's a gym battle. The week after that. We're gonna have a battle between both of them. But I wanna have a lot like uh, maybe another one later on. Maybe when you know Sawyer has a septile or Ash gets his mega or something. We need to see them battle again. Um, I don't think that, I mean, it might be cool to have, like, a Paul-Ash thing, where Ash, in this case, would be, like, Paul, in terms in terms of, you know, abilities, skills, but at the end of the day, it's like, should, like, the battle, I want their, their last battle at the league to be, like, almost like Paul's and Ash's, in terms of, like, it's very intense the whole way through, and then it go it goes down to the wire. Uh, that's that's my dream match for both of these, and um, yeah, so uh, that's that's kind of what I want. But anyways, so fashion show was uh, it was a, a standard fashion show. Um, like I said, Valerie looks nice. She asked Bonnie and Serena to help out to wear dresses. All the outfits were Pokemon themed, and I mean like Pokemon themed. There was an Azumarill one. There was a Meowstic one. There was a Got the reader one. There was a uh, Chingling one, which was Bonnie's, and then Serena had Florges, and then I think I'm missing one. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. But then Valerie came out, and then Shota or Sawyer had a chance to battle her for a gym badge, uh, one on one, Bagon versus Spritzy. Where's my Mawa? She show, like Mawa was. She has a Mawa, and we hear, we do see the Mawa. We see the Miss Mime. I'm upset that she's not using Mawile. I I want to see Mawile and actually like Mawile is one of my favorite Pokemon. Like, well, I mean, I should say. So hold on, let me let me rephrase that. I've always loved Mawile, always since Generation Three. I've always loved Mawile. She's got a Mega now, which is amazing. I consider Mawile a girl, by the way. I want to see her in action. She has a new Fairy type, and we've only seen her once. With uh, what's his face when Karina battled? Um, I want to see more Mawile. I want to see more Mawile action. I want to see Mawile get destruction on. And it's not gonna happen. It's really sad. If Serena gets a Mawile, I'll be happy because then like it'll get some exposition. I just really want Mawile to get love, man. I just man. But yeah. So, uh, the fashion show, Sawyer unfortunately loses because it's a freaking Bagon versus Spritzy. 
Um, we got the whole dragon type is not effective at all against fairies. And Jazz and Gleam looks really crazy. Like, it looks nothing like in the games. It's literally like a blinding light, and then Bagon just died. <laughs> and that was it. I liked it, though. I like this, uh, this whole dynamic. I can't wait to see Valerie in action against Ash. I, I just can't wait. I just can't wait. Uh, this is going to be awesome. I know there is some bullshit in the gym battle. I know it. I'm already waiting for it. But at the end of the day, Ash is going to get his sixth gym battle, which means we're only two away from being completely full, uh, which is good and bad. I might make a video about that next week because there's some things I'm worried about with this whole X and Y thing. So. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll leave one link in the description only because the usual website I put first. For some reason, has the episode subbed. I don't know why. I might put it second, maybe in case later on they update it to the dub version. But we'll see. But anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Sir Croxon, and I'll see you guys in future videos.